You. How fitting you should choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty streets selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those cartel pigs are laughing at us. At me, I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well-founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood! single men in this city. First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. People will read something into anything these days. Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price, but groups of men get greedy. A valued resource, an old oriental gentleman I know, has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, Cherokee, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? It's basketball. Look, I'm running around the court, down the ball, and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, Yippee. I only play men's sports, like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Right. As a 
matter of fact, I don't. Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. Get the lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller. Hello, 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 No nannies. This would be a better country. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. Australian-American war was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American war was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't need two tools to take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. Come hopping into camp. Knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant, okay? Uh, no, not really. I mean, this <laughs> is a real... <laughs> really tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. And you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head. Unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I... In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. Speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son saw a few got hit by a truck and he says, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, I think it's like a game. Well, it's not a game. It's very, very good. I let my kids play video games. And now, run them around the house looking for gold coins.
Thank you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the port authorities seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. for commuters from Shoreside, engineers have finally managed to repair the damaged mechanism on the Staunton Lift Bridge and it is now open to traffic flow both to and from Shoreside Vale. Hello caller, you're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love hearing people speak. Hello, man, this country great. Neat. Neat. Good stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a people whine about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's medical fact. You can't die from bullets. Staff for cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. Small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun to stick my own home in the car. I ain't hurt nobody. And countries that don't have guns ain't America. You, you know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't America. You know, if more people had guns, we'd have less shootings in this country. <laughs> All right, we're going over here to line two. Hello, caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, I'd like to say something about... psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Absolute rot, Laszlo. It's lovely. Freddy needs a nanny. He needs a nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. Not a kiss like I give a woman or even a donkey. Because, because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like
You move. You big dumb. You want the check? Hey, let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it badly enough, so it must be worth something. Who the hell? You! Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring our heart out into that gutter. Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We are friends. Here, don't be such take a this. pussy. Hey, we got no choice, baby. You always got a choice, you dumb bastard. I'm sorry about the crazy bitch, man. They, they all the same, please. Por favor. So, the whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza! Liar! We all saw the cartel assassin. We are going to hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. I'll be operating on our friend here to extract information uh, and uh. a little pleasure. You, drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your services. Please, amigo! Uh, don't leave me here with her, man. She's she's psycho, chico, man. Please, amigo. Hey, hey, amigo, amigo. Ah! Ah! What do you know? What do you know? I can save you, for when the man he sees wife all fat, all early, with the dirty time, I realize... Fernando! You are proving to be a safe investment, a rare thing in these days of falsehood. My oriental friend will need an escort while he takes my latest acquisition to be authenticated. I want you to follow him and make sure both he and my package get to Pike Creek unharmed. Get to listen to this Watch next it. movement while enjoying a fine shot. Day six play a lot. What? I mean, shoes, books, toys, that's a tiny bird, pet, that sort of crap. It's all about me. Well, not mine, Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. Learning him good. It's free to talk how to clean bath there. Get the weight line of the toilet paper. And there's no pictures made out of milk cream. What I'm looking for living is the American way. Bath and doctors, politicians, lawyers. Whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered to argue with you, but I do feel sorry for your little Johnny, the seven-year-old cook, chimney sweep paralegal photo <laughs> 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 Let's take a quick break. Bill and I just had another kid, so of course we need a bigger SUV. Being a mom is hard with soccer, football, and lacrosse practice, so we bought the new Maibatsu monstrosity. It's so big, we lost little Joey in the back and couldn't find him for an hour. When I'm rushing to the mall or talking on my cell phone, I know me and my family are safe. The Maibatsu monstrosity has four-wheel drive, and in amphibious mode, it can cross rivers. So far, I've only had a few puddles, but it's good to know it's there. With the time I saved taking shortcuts... Okay. I had this boyfriend, and at first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but yeah, he treated me really good. And it all went wrong, and so, you know, I found someone else. He, he seems real nice, but, you know, he don't talk too much, so I really can't talk a lot to him. Well, I guess what I want to know is, I'm the top of the guy's serious. I mean, he always working and having 
Listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller. What's your name? Jeff from Rockland. Hello, Jeff. What's up? I wanted to tell you and your listeners about a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make a difference. 